One common problem with cheap coping saws is just that the frame is really bendy. And this is a uh, pretty cheap one. They've got more expensive ones that might be a little bit more rigid. See, this one's a round pipe instead of a uh, flat piece of metal that provides more support in that way. Um, but this bends pretty easily, even under just the pressure of a coping saw blade. Uh, you can see here I've got one of the new concept fret saws that has improved tension and it, it won't bend under load. But I wanted that for a coping saw, but didn't want to spend another $150 or more on the new concepts coping saw. I still might one day because they're awesome. But my short term solution is it looks a little janky, but just to take a piece of wood. So this is some maple. And uh, as you can see, I've got a groove here that supports the metal bar and you load this before putting your blade on. And then once uh, it's on load, it's, it's kind of like doing a uh, traditional frame saw where the tension comes from back here, but this is where a lot of the load goes. So it acts like a, a strong lever and keeps that tension on this blade. So you can hear how musical this is. And as I cut, it doesn't detension. So let's see. So you can see my coping saw is not bending at all like it would if I didn't have that wood in there. So yeah, try that out if you want. And let me know what you think. There might be a more fancy way of approaching this, but this is a free solution to improve. I think this is a $15 coping saw made by Olsen and it's awesome, except it has that tensioning issue and this uh, seems to have solved it. You do lose two or three inches by doing this, but you don't really need that if you're just coping out the waist on a dovetail.